Okay, guys, check this out. I was asked a question on my um, on my conversion on the uh, Hitachi CB75F, the uh, guide conversion to the Carter Guides, and it was actually a good question. And it seems like a lot of people are having issues getting that Hitachi conversion kit, which you need just a bracket if you want to add in the Carter stuff. Anyway, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the video. I think I got two of them up there. So just look for us, Hitachi CB75 um, guide conversion with Carter. I think you can tag Noga and Lennox. Anyway, here's the measurements. Um, it's kind of confusing. It's not, in fact, it is kind of to scale, but I squared it off a lot. The actual bracket itself, and you'll see some, um, you know, let me point some stuff over here. The actual bracket itself will, will have yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's not square exactly like this. It's cut off over there. It's cut off over there. But let's go through the measurements real quick. All right. Over and self-explanatory. Overall length from the front to the back is 48 millimeters. I did it in millimeters because it's a metric piece. Otherwise, I'd have done it in inches. Anyway, 48 millimeters. The height, total height from here to here, 55 millimeters. Width across the front, 58 millimeters. Now, there's two sections. The section, I call this the front section. The front section is 25 millimeters deep. This is what holds the shaft. For some reason, there's two holes, two 20 millimeter holes, and there's a eight millimeter bolt that goes all the way through. I have mine set up on the left side. The bolt is kind of long, and it's a set screw that holds the shaft in right here. That's it. Um, yeah, if, if I did it here, the bolt would be sticking way out on this side, but whatever. I guess you could use either one. So 20 millimeter shaft, there's two of them, okay? Now this is, again, this is what I call the front section. So 25 millimeters going back. Now this is what I call the, the top or the back section. Again, total length from here to here, 48 millimeters, but this back section... You know, you can do the math, 48 minus 25 is 23 millimeters, but it's 16 millimeters thick, okay? So 16 millimeters thick in the back section. There's a hole here that a bolt goes up and secures it to the, the upright post that, you know, it's the adjuster that moves the guide up and down. That is it. Um, I just left, oh, yeah, I just left this here so you guys can take pictures, do whatever you want. If for some reason somebody makes one of these things and... You want me to try it out for you? By all means, send it to me. <laughs> but I was thinking if I didn't have it, I would actually go and make it. Now, I did do a little picture down underneath. If you look, so let's see, what is this? 36 millimeters right here. What I would probably do is take this 36 millimeter measurement and just take it straight down right there, right? And I wouldn't do all this. I probably wouldn't do two holes. I'd do one. And the, from the front view, it would look like this. Super simple, right? 36. Same measurement on the top. 55 millimeter coming down. I, I think this is 20 millimeters to center. 20 millimeter hole right here. And then, you know, out of the back section, it would look like this. I would just cut off. You know, you'd have to, well, however you're going to make this. You you need this 23 millimeter section over here, 16 millimeters thick coming out the backside. But anyway, that's it. So if you guys got any questions, pop them down below. Um, the piece itself is made out of cast iron. I don't see why it can't be done out of aluminum. The Carter brackets itself, the guides itself are made out of aluminum. The shaft is steel. Okay, you got any questions, pop them down there. See you next time.